What's up, my wizards? It's Dev. SBMTG, the place, the things that you know by heart by now. I'm pretty sure you've got it memorized. But anyway, today we're looking at more dumb decks because the uh, rotation looms large and there's going to be some decks that I've already got in my arena collection that I don't really have time to show you or they haven't been voted through on Patreon polls, which is the case with today's deck. And this is actually a deck that's changed an awful lot since I first started building it because I've been working on it since last season. This is Mono Blue Midrange. Usually, or for, for the first two or three months this deck existed, it was Monobu Planeswalker's deck, and it just was not good, but we actually got a bunch of stuff in Corset that made this deck way, way better. Like, for instance, we got Mu Yanling. Mu is just, like, one of the best cards that this deck picked up, period, but we also got Cavalier of Gales. This card is just super freaking powerful. <laughs> just ends games. It's a great card advantage piece, but there's a ton of card advantage in the deck. Got Eternal Kefnet generates card advantage. Dungeon Geist is kind of a removal piece. Narset, card advantage. Mu Yanling, when she ultimates, can get us card advantage. We've got um, Callous Dismissal to generate a form of card advantage in the deck. Plus Entrancing Melody and Mass Manipulation to effectively two for one our opponents. So it's just a actually really decent you know, uh, deck that's come together pretty well and actually have had the, um, I guess, the faith in the deck to put it on the Patreon polls. It just hasn't been voted through since it's been on the polls. So I did want the deck to get a moment in the sun because some of the stuff will rotate, but not all of it. Like I said, we get to keep a good bit of our stuff. You know, Narset, Mu Yanling, Negates, and M20. Uh, not Essence Scatter, but yeah, Callous Dismissal, Unsummon, but we do lose Tempest Gen, which is a really crap card to have to lose and we also lose um opt which you know not not an amazing card necessarily but still a really decent one drop um draw card piece and then essence scatter we lose too which kind of sucks as well so we're not losing everything here and you could probably still make this deck work post rotation especially if we get some cool stuff in throne but it's not a guarantee and i've been working on this deck so long without like an outlet to really talk about it that I wanted to show off at least a few games with the deck and see what happens. This is like the only deck that I don't just straight up expect to lose with of all the decks that I'm doing today. We're doing three different videos of just like bad decks <laughs> today, but this is the one I have the most faith in. We'll see if that faith is uh, unfounded or not. Let's go ahead and get into the games. All right, well, first game here, we're up against Viral Disease. Jeez, I couldn't pronounce any of the names in the first video, uh, but not for first game here we get Viral Disease, which is like really dark. They go first, which makes this Essence Scatter like nowhere near as good. Or this Mu Yan Ling, you know, it's a woof. Um, <laughs> it's another deck that really, really prefers to go first, but we'll see what Viral Disease does. Jeez, this will pet our cat in the meantime. Feel good. Don't click on it, though. I don't want to stall any games, I herp derp, but... Let's see, they lead on island, which is a trend in these videos today. Man, they mulliganed. Siren Storm Tama comes down. We get a mass manipulation off the top. Go ahead and play our island. We're samesies. Say go. I don't like Siren Storm Tamer. It's going to mean that we just don't resolve anything for the rest of the game here. Yep, Terramander comes down. Going to put an obsession on something? They are not. Swing in. Let's draw. Play our thing. Right, at this point... Let's go ahead. Well, no, let's not. Let's not. Let's not walk into a Tempest Gen next turn. Let's end turn. Leave this this Essence Scatter up. I sure hope. Okay, so they went Terramander. Woof. I'm actually going to unsummon the Storm Tama. Oh my god, are we going to bait a counterspell right here? No, okay. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. All right, so we get hit with a Terramander. They're going to play... Oh, they don't play Storm Tamer. Okay, we did get the island that we need. All right, so what does that mean exactly? Does that mean Essence Scatter or Negate? Because it doesn't mean uh, Wizard's Retort, because these aren't Wizards. Are you just bluffing? Like, it's not Spell Pierce, probably not Spell Pierce. This is really interesting, actually. Do we just, like, dismissal this turn? And try to get the tempo back? Maybe. But, like, because it's not a guarantee their shields are down. And if we miss the Callous Dismissal, that's not so bad. If we miss Mu Yan Ling, that's a, kind of a big deal. So... Ooh, but I kind of want to go for it while we have it. Let's try it. Let's try it, everybody. Oh, she resolved. That's... Dope. Okay, so let's target one of these Terramanders here. Okay. Okay. 
Moo is down. Moo is boo. We're doing it. I really should call her Yun Ling. Keep being reminded on various social media sites that, like, hey, remember to call her Yun Ling? And they're right. <laughs> I just, just want to call her Moo so I can say Moo is boo. Alright, they're going to get in for one on Moo. Yun Ling. On Yun Ling. <laughs> we play a blast zone, which uh, is actually hilarious. Right? <laughs> yeah. Let's just uh, say goodbye, I guess. To all of these one drop creatures. Bye. I should have gone ahead and done this first, but I guess it doesn't matter. Let's say uh, up to one, submit zero, and say go. <laughs> Blast zone. You ain't gotta go to work, work, work. Alright, so island. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so. All I could have right here is Spell Pierce, and Dungeon Geist gets through that, so I think we're probably safe. Although I could Callus this Missile. This Tempest Gen. Yeah, Callus this Missile and an Essence Scatter. You guys think that's the way to go? I think that's probably the way to go. Let's Callus this Missile. You. Yeah, alright, that worked. Let's go ahead and make our bird. Larry Bird. And, uh, yeah, I'd say we're set up pretty well here. It's in turn. Whew, whew. Have we done it? Alright, they're gonna try and Tempest Gin. Here's an Essence Scatter. Will they Spell Pierce it? They don't. They scoop. Alright, first game with Mono Blue Midrange. We beat an actual, like, Tier 2 deck, guys. That's... Woo! We did it. If nothing else, I feel vindicated for that much. So, let's, let's go into another one here and see what happens, I guess. Man, it was that Mu Yan Ling, y'all. I'm telling you, Yan Ling is insane. Doesn't get enough credit. Resolving that really changed everything. Okay, we're up against Dark Bulldog. That's a cool name. We're up against Dark Bulldog for this one. We go first. Start on two Essence Scatters and a Mu Yan Ling. Two Cavalier of Gales. We ever get to those, we win. Maybe. I don't know what we're playing against. But let's, <laughs> let's give it a shot here. I like Essence Scatters when we go first. So, Island. Say go. Bulldog leads on plane, says go. We get another land, which is exactly what we need. We need like three more of them. <laughs> Two more. They go planes. You gotta play a creature here, right? Impassioned Orator. Let's go ahead and Essence Scatter it. Wanna let nothing hit the board yet, son. Nothing. Island. This game is looking good. Okay, so. I say go. See what they do this turn. I feel like we probably should have played Yan Ling that turn. Alright, forbi ooh, Forbidding Spirit. Let's Essence Scatter that. At this point, we really can go to work, I think. Yeah. Ooh, a Narset! Okay. Well, that leads us to a uh, tough decision. I actually think we go Moo. Go ahead and get the uh, Loyalty Train rolling on this Planeswalker. We can make a, if we get an island next turn, we can make a bird and a cavalier of gales. <laughs> That'd be, that's kind of hard to deal with, I think. So, okay, they go history this turn. Which we have an exact foil to, that's pretty cute, so. Let's go ahead. Do that. Let's opt. Main phase opt. Ooh, for an entrancing melody. I think I actually do want to draw that. Thank you very much. Narset. Draw something here. Uh, think about drawing the other Narset, actually. Yeah, let's opt. Let's try the opt. Alright. We're actually set up really well. Two Planeswalkers. Entrancing Melody, Cavalier of Gales once we get... Two, d times two! Once we get our fifth land. The opt to get that fifth land if we don't next turn. And it's, we're just... We're, we're doing pretty well here. Conclave Tribunal, what you gonna hit? Probably the Mu Yanling. If they know what they're doing. Yep, there they go. Orator comes down. We get a Mass Manipulation, which is cute. I really wish we'd have gotten that other land there. Let's narse it first. Hey, it's a Mu Yanling. 
She came back. She came back. It's not really gonna do much though. She's still gonna take a good little bit of damage next turn. Let's do that. They can actually kill Moo and Narset next turn, so we'll see if they turn things around, but we oh that's the land that we need. Sweet, sweet. Let's go ahead and play that. And say go. Drops a land. I'm actually a little surprised they have so many, I'm going to say so many cards left in their hand, but they have two cards left in their hand. We go, yeah, kill Narset, kill Moo, get on us for two, and that rhymes. Now they look like they're in a decent board, posi board position. You going to play any cards? Getting an even better board position? Nope. All right, so let's just, let me just Cavalier Gales this turn. I'm pretty sure. If we get a few more lands, this mass manipulation would be very serious. So let's just Cavalier... What do we put back here? Let's go. Opt. And. Well. Yeah, let's do that. The island on top. All right, we can steal a creature this turn. Like if they play something big, Lyra Dawnbringer or something, we can snack it. Snack it, we can snag it. We can snack it too though. Okay, Angel of Dawn. Their dudes get a boost, they get some life. Tithe Taker, okay, so they played their hand out at this point. Okay, so. It's blocking order. Put us at 12. They say go. We get that land we knew about. Now, we have options. We can steal this angel. Hmm. We can. But should we? I'd say the best thing to do is Cavalier of Gales unsummon. So let's, let's do that. Let's Cavalier of Gales. Tempest Gen in there. I really like that. Let's put the Essence Scatter back, and... I don't know why I'm moving over to that side. Let's put the Essence Scatter back, and the... Ooh, that's tough. I guess the Opt, and we'll draw the Opt. Next turn. So, yeah. Let's do that. Sorry, opponent. Say next. Next. Should I get in? I'm at 12. Let's go ahead, get in. They're going to take the damage, I'm sure. Yep, they do. Sega, okay. I'd say next turn we probably Tempest Gin. Oh, I messed up because there's Tithe Taker on the battlefield. Okay, so. Let's block that. We take 2, 4, 6 and go down to 6. Sucks I couldn't unsummon one of those tokens because Tithe Taker. They got me. They got you, boy. I'm over here worried about what we're going to do. Alright, so they do say go. That's a bit of a reprieve. We'll play Island. Seven mana. So we can steal Tide Taker for four. And then Tempest Gen for the other three. Might be the idea. Let's go ahead and Tempest Gen. Drop that. And then probably... I think stealing the Tithe Taker is the right play. Well, it's Entrancing Melody. Values 2. Wait. <laughs> Silly buns. 1, 2, 3, 4. 
Yeah, it's just during your turn. That's odd. I should only have to pay four for that. Well, huh. Still a history token. I'm sure, I'll figure out what went wrong there in a second. Let's say next. Actually, that's probably the better thing to do. Now that I think about it, we can attack, attack. Bam, bam. There at seven. We end the turn. Your turn, right? Yeah. Huh. All right, so let's see what the opponent's doing here. They have, they have eight lands. They can play whatever they want to in their entire deck at this point. So pass, pass. My turn. All right, so let's unsummon this token. What if it's like a settle the wreckage? <laughs> How hilarious would that be? So, let's play it ultra safe. Tempest Gen. The only one swinging. It's an angel of grace. Let's let's essence scatter that bull mess. No, sir. No, sir, or madam. Probably sir with an inner dark bulldog. We did it! We did two games in a row with mono blue, even though... Some sort of snag happened with Entrancing Melody there. I'm not really sure what that was all about, but I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments section where I goofed. But still, we still pulled it off. We had all the cards in our hand that we needed to win that one. Like I said, I, I assume that once we got to Double Cavalier Gales, we'd probably win that one, and we pulled it off. So let's go in again, see what we're doing here. For game number three, we've, we picked up two in a row, everybody. Let me take a sip of the coffee real quick. <clears throat> it's good coffee. It's actually fairly bad coffee, but whatever. It's coffee. We're up against Good Mitch. G double zero D Mitch. In this game, we go first, and we're actually looking fairly set up. Calisus Missile into Tempest Gem. We'll get to this Cavalier. Let's make it happen, Cap'n. All right, Mitch. What you doing? You you be good, Mitch. There we go. All right, so <laughs> let's drop an island. Say gozers. Opponents up to Island Lano Elves on turn one. We got the perfect thing for that. Let's Island, Callus Dismissal, target your Lano Elves. Get that garbage out of here. Lano Elves gonna rotate soon, and I'm still not sure if it's gonna make me sad or like happy. And there's Paradise Druid on turn two. We're up against Nissa deck. Almost certainly. So here comes Island. Tempestuous Jin. Well, 3 4 Jin, let's uh, get in. Well, the token, because you're not going to block. Say go. Drops the island into Vine Mare. Ooh, into Vine Mare. Ooh, okay, so. That's neat. Now, this turn, I have the compulsion. To unsummon her Callus Dismissal. I'm going to Callus Dismissal this Paradise Druid. Blood Owl. Alright. Point down to 16. They're going to get in with this Vine Bear this turn. Unblock. Hey, here's Season of Growth. Season of Growth. This is a neat little mono green deck we're up against here. At least it appears to be mono green. Paradise Druid comes back down. It's like a mono green hexproof deck. Is that what you're doing? That's pretty cool. Really gonna want to get this uh, this other land. Actually, two more lands in the coming turns here. All right. We got land number four. That's good news. We just need one more. We just need one more, everybody. All right, so now we have reached the point. Hmm. 
Do we just leave Tempest Chin up to block? Or do we get in? Do I go to 12? Possibly 10 if we get through with both. The next turn on Crackback, we go to 10. If we play an island next turn, they'll go to 5. And then we'll go to 5, right? So It's like, is it worth racing? Like, we have to draw islands in order to race. But I guess I could take another 5 to the face, right? Let's... Mm, let's no attacks. I want to see what else this mono green deck's got going on. Which is going to happen regardless. I mean, that's going to happen one way or the other, but... I'll prolong this game a little bit, because at this point I think it's just about getting to one of these Cavaliers. Or both, even. Alright, so apparently they got nothing better to do but play Elves at this point. They're going to scry. Good to scry. Good stuff. Zero top, one bottom. Getting down that Barkhide Troll. It is Mono Green Hexproof. This is a really cool deck. I like it. Blanche, oh, Blanchewood armor. Oh, oh, oh. We actually have to negate that. <laughs> Man. I don't think I have ever in the history of me playing this game <laughs> negated a Blanchewood armor. I'm also going to go ahead and unsummon this Paradise Druid. Not sure how many opportunities you get to, to actually do that, so... Let's do it while they're tapped out. Get a little bit of tempo here. They're going to get in with Vine Mare. Huh. I'll trade. I'll trade. We'll do that. Vine Mare's your best creature, but it's not mine. All right, so we got an Essence Scatter here, which actually ain't so shabby. Yeah, okay. Not the best thing in the world. It was not bad. Island would have been great. The fours for the opponent into Carnage Tyrant. Can't be countered. I don't know why. It's like, ooh, play your Essence Scatter outline it in blue. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I wish I could, big brother, but I can't. Ooh, Carnage Tyrant. Do not ruin my day. I was expecting it. Mono Green Hexproof makes, of course, you're playing Carnage Tyrant, but. Woof. All right, so we did get the island that we need. And we do need it here. Cavalier of Gales. So we can double block the Carnage Tyrant. what the holdup is here, because they can't do anything. They're tapped out. Oh, it's the Bark High Troll. Yeah. Oh, well, no, it can't even be that. <laughs> they don't have the mana to activate it. They are. It, it, it's a decision on their end. Alright, so... Let's put some stuff on top. Hmm. What's gonna be? Let's go Island... And opt. And let's do that. Let's do that. We can scry away the island if we don't need it. No attacks. Modern Green Hexproof giving us a run for our money here. All right, they're getting in with Carnage Tyrant. Let's see. Oh, can we take seven to the face and just block this Barkai Troll? Ha 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 ha. Should we? So we'll go down to eight. That's not bad, right? Like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to block this Barkai Troll. See if he has a giant growth or something. I wonder if that's what it is. Nope. Mitch got nothing. We got down to eight here. That's not so bad. That's really not so bad. Fine mare. These scries, man. Scries are nice. Alright, so I guess we just cavalier again. Yeah, yeah, we just cavalier again. Double Narsid, huh? Alright. Let's do that, and let's do that. Draw the opt, scry away the other Narset. All right, play this island. Can't yeah, summon anything though. They all have hexproof. That's hilarious. All right. I guess we should say go. Yeah. 
No attacks in turn. I wonder what this card is. It's a oh, it's a Blanchwood armor. Oof! Oh, that's bad. That's a bad card for that to have been. All right. Google. Wait, you got another Blanchwood armor on the draw? Oh my god! Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. All right. Well done, opponent. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta hand it to you. That was pretty lucky, wasn't it? All right, so. Coming in with the dudes. Yeah, go ahead, Lana Rails. Get in there. Get in there. What are you doing? All right, so we just die. Let's just good game our opponent. We're actually gonna let them uh, let them hit us. I feel like people deny um, their opponents uh, a, a game too often. You know. They say, good game, I'm going to quit before you can do the thing your deck is supposed to do. No, I like to let them do what their deck's supposed to do. I don't mind that at all. It's past. I'm not even going to bother, like, unsummoning a thing. Just take our damage. Negative seven. Good job. Good job, good Mitch. You are a good Mitch. Are you a good Mitch or a bad Mitch? I guess, I guess we found out. I don't know why it took me so long to make that joke. but All right, we are uh, two and one now with mono blue. Let's see what happens. We go into the fourth game here. This will be the last one, I think, with this deck. It's actually already proven itself uh, to, to me. I don't, know, I don't know about to you, but this deck is a, a lot better than it was last season. It was basically just a Planeswalker party. All right, well, we're up against Tiny Jian Jian here. Um, it did that thing to me where it, like, tries to find a match for 30 seconds and then it just kicks you back out, so I cut that part out. But they go first. Let's see what we're up to. It isn't too bad. Not all the early action in the world, but at least we can get some early tempo with Callous Dismissal. Try to bridge the gap to this dungeon guys into a Cavalier. All of that will be good if we can make it happen. Let's keep these seven. Callous Dismissal is one of those rare cards. Ooh, a Tippus Gen. That's good. That'll also bridge the gap to the dungeon guys. So, sweet. I wish we had another island set as Blast Zone. Um, but still, we'll take it. Let's see, Callous Dismissal. Didn't ring true this game, but Callous Dismissal is one of the rare cards that is good, um, usually better on the draw. But it didn't really bear out this game. Okay, Bloodthirsty Aerialists. We get our, our, our another island here. And we can... Yeah, let's go ahead and Tempest Gen. That way, even if they gain a life, it doesn't match up well. There's one life. Maybe they'll gain two this turn. But that's okay. Like, we can take a hit to the face. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so they're daring us here. You think they have, like, a moment of triumph? What all cards can they even play during their combat step to gain life? Nah, I'm not falling for it. Let's just no blocks. Let's take the damage. I don't want to walk into something like an idiot. All right, they said go. Let's play this B zone. And let's dungeon guys. Tap that guy down. All attack. We might take some more damage this turn. Like if they get rid of dungeon guys, and then um. Okay, they're going to Othakai the dungeon guys. That's okay. Right, Lieutenant comes down. There's another land, but we can't actually just play Cavalier of, Ga of Gales and call it a day, right? Because they have a 5-6 over there that could get even bigger on the next turn. But I guess we just double block it, right? I'd say go ahead. Callous Dismissal. Really sweet if we had um, an essence scatter right now. But let's say we get in with Tempest Gen. And then Narset. See what we can get here. I'll take the Unsummon. I think a lot of people would have rather had the second Narset, but I'll take the Unsummon here. So we can get tricky if we have to later. And then next turn we can just Cavalier.
I think that's probably the right way to go. Especially if we get another land, we can Cavalier and still have the mana to unsummon whatever play they make this turn on their next turn, so... I think things are lining up okay here, but black-white vampires can get out of control pretty quick, so... And they're taking some time to make their decision this turn, so we'll see. They've got a wealth of options, I'm sure. Alright, they call to the feast. You don't see that in these decks every day. Huh. Coming in at Narset. Let's block that. Alright, another unsummon. That's cute. Alright, so let's go ahead and Narset. Meditate. Meditate. We whiff on Narset. Oof. But that's okay. That's still fine. Hmm. Yeah, let's just Cavalier. Alright, we got Dungeon Guys. That's actually pretty sweet. Put back an island. An island. Yeah, I think that's the right way to go. Get it on attacks. The way things are looking, we might be able to race them. Because we'll get Cavalier of Gales on summon next turn. Because we'll get this island. So. Yep, they go Aerialist. It's kind of exactly what we wanted out of this turn. Vampire of the Dire Moon. Coming in, trying to kill this Narset, which is fine with us. Yeah, kill the Narset, whatever. We're gonna be able to champion a Dusk, but like, whatever. Alright, so that goes up to 5-6 already. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, so we've got all six of the mana that we need here. And that's pretty sweet. So yeah. Cavalier of Gales unsummon, right? Or do we Dungeon Geist double unsummon on their turn? Is that the play? Hold on. So they're at 17. If we get in for 10 this turn, they'll go down to 7. And then we can... Yeah, I'd say that's probably the play. So let's let's try that. Let's Dungeon Geist. Tap the area list. Alright. And then... We can attack. Bop, bop. They're down to seven. And... Why didn't it tap the blast? So oh. Well, okay. That's okay, though. That's okay, right? Let's save the unsummon for the Legion Lieutenant. That's the right way to go. Let's just do that. It should be fine. Maybe they'll mortify this dungeon guys or something, but I just wanted one attack step. One free attack step. Okay, so they scry off Temple of Silence. I think we got this one, but there's there's a million cards they could draw right now. Yeah, they're going to target something with a removal spell. Well, maybe not. Let's see what, we, see what happens here. Ooh, they're doing some thinking. Alright, Contempt. The Cavalier. Hmm. Yeah, let's let it happen. Alright, they're going to try to get in here. So let's unsummon Legion Lieutenant. Block one of these little guys. I get a bunch of triggers on area list. They're also up to 13. All that, all that lifelink. Alright. So what are we doing here? We're gonna go down to 7, 6, 5, 4 if we get in with all the things this turn. Yeah. 
That's Cavalier. <laughs> Bunch of islands. Let me put those back. Okay. So at this point, let's get in on attacks. So they're at four. In turn. The dungeon guys could help win us this game, y'all. They still have four cards in there. I mean, no one's a Legion Lieutenant. If they have removal, that will not be good for us. At all. But if they just played Legion Lieutenant try to get out on attacks, we've got another unsummon, and that might just be the end of their game. So we'll we'll see what happens here. So we wait. This is a pretty tense situation here because Black White Vampires can still pull off a win in this situation. They can. Alright, Hourglass. Here comes the Soar. Ooh, a Soarin' Vampire Lord. Ugh. Oof. Why did they wait so long to do that? Huh. Alright, I think that sews it up. Let's just unsummon this vampire of the dire moon that they're trying to get in with. They're tapped out. Pass it, pass it. If they'd have gotten through with it, they'd have been at 9, and they could win this turn. So let's just next, next. They're good gaming us. Let's good game them. Oh boy! <laughs> Man, <laughs> they scoop it up. Good game though, Tiny Jian Jian. That was really, really good. All right, well, that was mono blue mid-range. We actually won three out of four games with that deck. That's not not bad at all. Like I said, this is probably of the three decks I'm doing in different videos today. This is the one I have the most faith in. It got way better after Corsair came out, and I'm not surprised that it did so well today. So if you're interested in this deck as well, you should be. Um, there, it pulled off some pretty crazy stuff today. Um, just click the first link in the description. Go over to TCG Player, check out the deck list. And if you want to change anything, you absolutely can. You know, On that note, let me know how you do things differently down there in the comments section because this deck actually has a lot of different cards it can play <laughs> it's got a lot of like sideboard potential too so i've just been messing around in best of one with this deck because it hasn't really gotten to the point this season where i've been able to put a sideboard on it but still just in the in the bo1 meta it does well enough and honestly blue has all the good sideboard cards anyway so <laughs> just let me know what you do differently with this thing and of course like subscribe, do all that stuff if you haven't done it yet. It really helps me out if you like the video. Helps me out if you sub too, obviously. That's YouTubers like that best. But if you really want to help the channel out, then click the Patreon link in the description. Donate a buck a month to the channel to uh, just you know, to help determine, vote on what decks you want to see next, all that stuff. And there's other Patreon tiers, but all I really ask you for is a dollar a month. So if you got it, throw it my way. Help support content like this. And, uh, yeah, hope you get a chance to try this deck out, because obviously it does some really powerful stuff, draws a lot of cards, and the quote-unquote removal package actually isn't that bad. You know, if you can unsummon Callus Dismissal, buy yourself some time to where you get your Muyan Ling down, or you get a Tempest Gin, or a, um, a, a Cavalier of Gales down, then it's th that sort of, you know, tempo that you generated off of these uh, bounce spells actually makes it where, like, you don't care if they play their two or three drop again, because you've got Cavalier, you know? So, <laughs> this deck is actually really, really cool and i'm glad it performed so well on camera so just let me know um how you do things differently and if you enjoyed the deck i really hope you did but i guess that's all i got for this one so i suppose i'll catch you cats later i'm dead from the place thanks for watching my wizards spread love and be kind